friends. I've got a fun activity for you today. I hope you like it. I thought we could build with ice cubes. It's been really cold out lately. And when you shovel snow, sometimes we use a special ingredient to melt the ice and snow. So let's see what we can do building with ice cubes. So I took my ice cubes out of the refrigerator and I thought I'd try to make a wall with ice cubes. Let's see what we can do. One, two, three, four ice cubes and then we'll put Ice cube on, oh, slippery little devils, aren't they? Mm. Yes, slippery. Whoops. Sometimes you can pick them up with tongs. That's fun and a fun exercise. Oh, they're very slippery. So, what I'm going to try is to spread. Sprinkle them with salt. You can use table salt or we might try some sea salt. So you sprinkle them with salt and see, oops, <clears throat> see if they'll stick together better once you've sprinkled them with salt. What happens is salt melts the ice a little bit and then they fit together much better. So let's see how we can do this. Mm, that fits. Oh. Oops, that one fell off. You have to be patient with new experiments and that's how scientists discover lots of new things. It's fun to just mess about with different kinds of media and ice cube block building could be a lot of fun for you. And as the salt takes its effect, then my wall is going to be sturdier. What do you think? Maybe you'd like to try building with ice cubes today and using salt to make a wall or an igloo or something of interest. I hope you have fun with it. My story today is winter is the warmest season. Well, that's sort of funny because hmm, winter has been pretty cold lately. Let's see what this author suggests. The author and the illustrator is Lauren Stringer. Oh, there's that little girl and her dog inside on a wintry day. Winter is the warmest season. Most people think it's summer with its long steamy days, but not me. My world is warmest in winter. She looks happy. When winter comes, my jacket puffs warm with feathers. She's got one of those nice cozy puffy jackets. My hat grows ear flaps. My pants hide deep in fuzzy boots. And my hands wear warm, woolly sweaters called mittens. When winter comes, summer's plants and animals sleep deep under thick blankets of snow. Here's the raccoon family. Here's a bunny. Here's some mice. Here's Mr. Frog. And there's Mr. Chipmunk. When winter comes, my red summer's iced drinks 
turn into hot chocolate. Cold jelly sandwiches turn into grilled cheese sandwiches. Hot soups, hot pies, and oven hot breads make winter the warmest for the inside of me. Oh, she's made cocoa and nice grilled cheese sandwiches. When winter comes, summer's cool fans hide in darkness in the basement while sleeping radiators. He has radiators. Some of you have baseboard heaters and some of you might even have a, a stove in your house, maybe a gas stove or a wood burning stove. Those radiators awaken to their dragon selves, banging and hissing and pouring heat all through my home. When winter comes, cats sit on laps instead of windowsills, warming our laps while we're playing a card game. Even nights are warmer in winter. Fires burn in fireplaces. Candles burn in candle places. I think parties are warmer in winter. Look, they're singing songs and gathering together and having so much fun indoors by the fireplace. And when summer's cool swims turn into winter's hot baths, I know my pajamas will grow big warm feet for my toes to snuggle in. My bed is warmest in winter, piled high with blankets of plaid, blankets striped yellow, and a blue starry quilt on top. It's cozy in my bed. In winter, bodies sit closer, books last longer and hugs squeeze the warmest. It's cozy in winter time. Even friends are warmer. Look, she's got her teddy bear and her little dog and her froggy snuggled up together. I think winter is a warm season. I hope you're having a warm winter.